the number one pop album in the world. Latan Ibrahimovic gave this to me. Quinn, which stands for quit unless your instincts are never neglected. So basically just go after something you love if you have an instinct to pursue it and you know makes you feel good. At night when I think of you, I wonder if you ever think of me. Searching your name on my phone is a part of my nightly routine. Guys, how's it going? I'm Quinn92. You caught me reading a little poetry from my recent poetry book. Not a big deal. Why don't you come inside? It's my day off. I'm gonna make some chicken for you. Come on. And what do you know, my beautiful wife, Macy, is in here cutting up some veggies for us. It's a chicken Greek feta bowl that my wife and I eat pretty often on weekdays. We, we actually do. do. She's yeah. really gotten me into like cooking. I've always wanted to be a chef deep down. Like I'm a big fan of like Action Bronson. Just tatted up chefs, like that's kind of what I want to be, <laughs> you know? So the Mustard Mike Instagram page, I was just like, I think it'd be cool to do something that was a bit of a parody of, of, of like real food blogs. And it's food it's that you rarely and... make yourself. Yeah. It's typically With... something that I've made or from a restaurant. It's basically all her stuff that I just take yeah. photos of. Oh. That is not what you're trying to eat right there, raw. We're not gonna eat that one. This is good. We're gonna have to keep cooking that. Yeah. We're going down. Let's cut this so, part out. Yeah. So fast. We're not gonna get a restaurant this way. <laughs> Let's go. Here you go. So yeah, we back here host a lot. We play musical flip cup, which is really fun. So yep. we'll walk around this table while someone DJs on the corner here. Nelson down here, this is his favorite begging spot. Someone I'd want to cook for, my number one answer would be Bill Murray. He's not a musician, but he's like my favorite person. I have a Bill Murray tattoo here. Musician, Sam Cooke probably. It's, <laughs> did you see what he did with his head? He just nudged me under my arm. My number one collab would be Jack Johnson. Um, it'd be like a dream come true, so. And, and his music's fantastic, so. Yeah. I love Wes Anderson movies. Every time I see one of his films, I'm just inspired with like a new cover art to do. You know, with so much music on Spotify, I always wanted to make sure my cover arts were like distinctive and could stand out in crowds of other music. Um, like if you're scrolling Spotify, I always want something that would like catch your eye. So I thought Wes Anderson was a perfect person to kind of like try to be similar to. Tour is likely going to happen this fall. It's crazy because I haven't toured in like two years, so I really, really can't wait. The first song I wrote about Macy Good was- question. Abel and Cain. It's literally about the time that we met in college when we went on a date party and I we went to this bar afterwards and I kind of was like talking shit about you to my friends. I was kind of like, this girl's really annoying. I don't know oh why we're gosh, here. Oh my gosh, that's so rude. It's all good now, but yeah. Favorite performance ever. I'm curious what you think about this, but it's probably Lollapalooza 2018. Totally. Oh, yeah. We grew up going to that. Mm -hmm. So finally seeing you play one of those stages. It was like a it was sunset. the most special the sun was feeling. setting during the set. It was just like so perfectly nostalgic. I'll never forget when we were in Germany. where you lost your voice and like literally could not get the lyrics out and the whole crowd just like finished every song yeah. for you. Yeah, that was terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some work done. Um, it's a day off, but you know, it, there really are no days off. Let's go. I have to sign 1500. It's a photo of my album cover. And on the back, we did a handwritten message to all the fans, just kind of saying thank you for their constant support. It's funny because I feel like uh, I feel like a good chunk of my fans still don't know how to say my name correctly, which is which is I think at this point just funny. Oh, I'm sorry, Quinchy. Yeah, they're f Quinchy. That's not how you say the name though. Uh, Quinn Xy. That's what I have here. Quinn Xy. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alexa, play Quinn Xy. -I -I. Here's the latest album by Quinn 92. Change of Scenery 2 on Amazon Music. It's Quinn 92. Just to set the record straight, um, it comes from an acronym that I started when I was in college because I, I my, my real name's Mike, but I was going by Mike T. But I felt like it was just too nickname-ish and I didn't really feel like people would take me seriously with that name. So I wanted to come up with something that was a little more like grounded and, and not only just like sounded cool, but felt like 
like it symbolized me in a way. So I came up with this acronym called QUIN, which stands for quit unless your instincts are never neglected. So basically just go after something you love if you have an instinct to pursue it and you know makes you feel good. And, and yeah, I thought that was cool. And then we had to attach the XCII, the Roman numeral to it later, because there was a dude who had the name Quinn already. So XCII is the Roman numeral for 92, which was the year that I was born. So that's how you get Quinn 92. But I, I didn't actually make my own music till sophomore year of high school um, with my friend who I rapped with. And we went by Mixed Minds and we would literally just like get beats off YouTube and using GarageBand and just record like 16 bars each. And you know, it wasn't good and we both knew that, but we, we fell in love with the process, I think, of making music and just thought it was a really cool you know, hobby and I think slowly I started getting better and better at it and I think one day I kind of realized I had some people who actually like liked it. It's the number one pop album in the world. <laughs> sorry. sorry Ariana, sorry Justin Bieber. Bieber, how do you say that? Being from, uh, from Michigan, from Metro Detroit, it influences my music definitely from just, you know, I, my parents put me on to like Motown when I was a kid. So I feel like I naturally was just in this Motown sort of like soul environment and fell in love with the way that that music sounded and the way that it just made people move and, and dance. And it definitely channels into my music as far as melodies go. And I always wanna make sure my melodies are super catchy. And despite what I'm saying, I wanna make sure you feel something from the melodies. Cause I think that's what Motown and doo-wop music did so well. Look how far we've come. That's, it. That's it. That's what it is. I'm gonna take a break. Let's go kick the soccer ball around. So before we kick the ball around, guys, I gotta put on a jersey. Um, guys, you know, fit the part a bit. Favorite soccer jerseys, favorite jerseys in general. This is a retro LA Galaxy jersey, super fire. Probably gonna wear this one today, actually. I'll put this to the side. Another Galaxy jersey is Latan Ibrahimovic. The man himself, when he was playing on the team, gave this to me. Custom Quinn 92. Chelsea though, this is my favorite soccer team in the world. And on the back here, it says Cranberry with the number three. You're probably like, what? Who is that? Who's Cranberry? It's something that we say before shows in my tour group. So we all put our hands in. We go one, two, three, Cranberry. And uh, I figured it was worth getting a jersey that was custom with that on the back of it. So number three, Cranberry. We got next, Tom Izzo, coach of the Michigan State Spartans, signed. I played an event at Michigan State called Midnight Madness, and I was the first performer that they ever had perform at it, so it was a huge honor for me. Soccer. Aside from food, aside from music, is my third favorite passion. Probably my second favorite thing to do in the world. I haven't picked the poop up today, so it might be a little difficult. We're like in a landmine. The defenders are the pieces of poop. I ended up playing in high school, um, almost played collegiately, but decided I wasn't gonna go pro, so would've kind of been a waste of time. Even if like, it's not, you know, something I'm the best at anymore, it's just for me just to get outside and like, play with the soccer ball is really cool. My favorite player is DDA Drogba from Chelsea. I'm trying to get a tattoo of him, he's the GOAT. So my wife started a home decor company called Sanctuary recently. Let's go see if she needs my help. How about you just read this order out? We need a Suna sipping tumbler. What is that? I've learned so much about home decor. Like, like this. this, this is called a cruet. These are really cool. This is perfect for anyone who wants like cutting up things and serving it. Like, what is this? Absolutely adorable. A stoneware speckle mug. <laughs> So this is probably what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. Thanks for checking out what a day off looks like in our life. We love you. Have a great day. Thanks for coming by.